In this video, we will talk about the basic configuration of application control on Sang4 and Jive. Application control policy controls data packets based on the TCP IP definition range of interactive data packets or the characteristics of the application layer. By applying application control policies, the interactive data from both parties in the communication are defined and controlled in the principle of minimizing access permissions. There are some basic configuration for configuring application control on Sang4 and Jive. Step 1. Select Source and Destination Zone. Step 2. Select Source and Destination Network Objects. Step 3. Select Service or Application to be allowed or denied. In this video, we will demonstrate on how to configure application control on Sang4 and Jive. The picture shown here is our sample topology for this tutorial. In this tutorial, we will be blocking Facebook access from this PC in LAN. First, go to Network, Interfaces, Zone. Make sure that you have configured the corresponding zone for LAN and 1. In this tutorial, we have configured our corresponding LAN and 1 zone. Next, go to Policies, Access Control, Application Control. By default, Sang4 and Jive will have a default deny all policy to block all access. If want to allow access to internet, we have to manually configure and allow policy accordingly. Here is the configuration example for allow all policy. We will not discuss about how to configure this policy as you will understand how to configure your own application control policy later in detail. Click add to add new application control policy. Fill in the name. Select the source zone. In this tutorial, since we are blocking access from LAN zone, the source zone should be the LAN zone. Select the network objects. You may create and select the network IP you want. In this tutorial, we will be testing only on 10.10.10.254 IPPC. Next, select the destination zone. In this tutorial, since we are blocking access to one zone, the destination zone should be the one zone. Select the network objects. Select tool. Select the service or application to be allowed or denied. As mentioned previously, we will be blocking Facebook application for demonstration purpose. Select application. Search for Facebook. Select all the related Facebook rule. Next, remember to enable this policy and options select as deny. Click on advanced settings. If needed, you may tick to enable persistent connection and logging option. After done settings, click OK. From here, we can see that our new application control policy has been added. Until here, the configuration for application control policy has been done. Now, we will test on the PC whether it can access Facebook now. We can see that the PC cannot access Facebook, but can access other websites such as Google, because we did not block Google. Now, we will disable the policy we have configured to see the effect. Notice that the hit count for the policy has been increased, it means that the traffic has matched this policy. Disable the policy. Go back to the PC to access Facebook again. We can see that the PC is able to access Facebook now. Precautions. Application Ident Database and URL Database and System, Security Capability Update should be the latest version.
Be careful to enable the persistent connection in application control, advanced settings. Only enable alone for specific servers with requirements, if needed. Avoid too many of enabled servers to prevent slow release of the device links, which will affect the device performance. Be careful to enable the logging in application control, advanced settings. It is suggested to save the logs into the syslog if the amount of items to be logged is large, to avoid too many logs appears in the default internal report center, which will affect device performance.